All right, why do we call it a one, two, three box? That's pretty simple. You can put one colony, two colonies, or three colonies in it. And it gives you all sorts of options. One of the other things people do with these is you cut out one of your dividers, glue in queen excluder, and put it in the, the six and three position. What that allows you to do is have your queen over on this side, restricted to just three cones. And then once a week, for me I do it on Thursdays because I craft on Mondays, you take the comb that was put in three weeks ago, you move it over to this side, slide those two over, and you drop a nice fresh comb in there for the queen to lay on. That way, come Monday, I'm going to have larva the right age to graft. Another thing you can do with these is, um, I put my crafts in these. and you run it kind of like a clipboard, make a slightly smaller divider, and slide it down there right next to the queen excluder. Poof! This section here is now queenless. It's got its own entrance on the bottom board. This one's got its own entrance on the bottom board. So this side will now draw and care for my queen cells. Two days later, after they've started the cells, I can pull out the divider and put the entire hive back to queen right and they will finish those cells. Another option with these guys that's uh, really popular in Canada is they run them as a double. And once they build up in the spring, they shake the bees off three combs in each side so the queen stays in the bottom. They put in fresh comb, they put a queen excluder over the top, and move all this brood up top. Turning it into a two queen hive, and they run these little things for honey production. Hey guys, I'm just kicking around the shop today, and I'm building some one, two, three boxes out of some blems I got from Tobi at David's shop. Um, it was fairly easy enough to do if you're building your own equipment and you know put it on a dado stack and run it through the table saw before you uh, put your boxes together. But afterwards, we're going to do a little trick. So, these were blems, and I need to put my grooves in them without disassembling them. So I've made a couple of little patterns here to jig this up. Then I can take a router with a bearing bit on it and follow the groove. Yeah, not the groove, follow the pattern, the jig. I just gotta flip sides with the jig really quickly to get the other end.
Easy peasy. Now, we have our grooves cut for our one, two, three box.